it appears that something horrible has happened. A YouTube video claimed that YouTube YouTube says video claiming Trump one does not violate its election policy in misinformation policies. YouTube says a video claiming President Donald Trump won the election does not violate any of its policies and has allowed it to stay on a platform despite the election not being called on major news outlets or either candidate yet. Keep in mind that was yesterday's news, which I'm recording right now. The decision, the decision to stands in contrast to Twitter and Facebook's more aggressive attempts to clamp down misleading claims and misinformation over election results. The video titled Trump won. It's this video right here. The one that I just watched. It's only almost four minutes long. And I'm going to debunk the rest of this. Trump won, but Democrats think we're stupid and they try to steal the battleground states. But now they're in a bind. It's taking way too long to count votes, and it's clear some. First of all, Trump didn't win. The votes are still being counted as the days, days goes on. And it's not taking way too long to count votes either. That's how the process works. It has worked since the 2000s, since George H. Since George W. Bush, a Republican president, created the Help uh, America Vote Act. It exists for a reason. I sure, I'm sure you know that. Right? Probably don't, because you're a stuck-up bitch. No offense. Clear something is up. They got caught, but they haven't finished their little scheme. It appears that Trump won by such a large margin. Now they aren't sure they pumped enough illegal ballots into the battleground states to actually beat him. So, they need to keep dragging it out to give them enough time to try to find more. The chaos initially benefited Democrats by allowing them a little wiggle room to cheat. The wheels are now falling off and people are getting caught. They think they can add 100,000 votes that no one gets to see or review, and all 100,000 votes are for Joe Biden and that Republicans will just accept those votes as fact? They think they can play Republicans and bulldoze their way to 270 and that Republicans will just tuck tail and whimper away. Why do they think that? Because Republicans usually do. Conservatives pride themselves on playing by the rules and Democrats laugh as they... The Democrats play by the rules and the Republicans... You took the words out of my right, right, right out of my mouth. The Republicans steal the election, not the Democrats. It's such a shame that you're here, you know, spreading false information. YouTube says the video violates its advertising guidelines but not its content policies so it can stay online but the will run without ads. I just wish that it was taken down because OAN News is known for making actual fake news and they can't be doing stuff like that. Like seriously man, they have no credibility in their lives. You want me to believe that Donald Trump had a solid lead in Michigan, Wisconsin, Arizona, Nevada, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina.
and that somehow in the middle of the night after the counting had stopped, hundreds of thousands of votes for Biden miraculously appeared at the polls so that when voters wake in the morning, Joe Biden has taken those states? Joe Biden didn't camp. What you don't know, idiot, is that these mail-in ballots take a lot of time as they come in. This is how the process works. When mail ba mail-in ballots come in, it takes a lot of time and process for the people who work in their local city areas to count all of these ballots. This is traditional. It happened it happened since the early 2000s, okay? Every year, every four years, it, as a matter of fact, or eight years. Every ballot that comes in late, which is the mail-in ballot, gets to be counted overnight. It doesn't need to be counted by midnight, app, which is the day after election day. No. It happens like every couple of days. Every couple of days, the ballots are counted. Why did you think Obama was president back in 2008? All of these ballots were counted. When you think Trump was president in 2017, all these ballots are counted. And now, Joe Biden, who will soon be president of the United States, all these ballots will be counted. Therefore, I have a stronger hunch that Joe Biden will be president of the United States. So therefore, their logic is wrong. Yes, Biden did receive the most votes in our country. We all voted for Biden because we want Biden to take our country back and to take care of the health of the American people. Trump can't do that. He's incapable of helping us, even yourself. No way. Trump yes way. Nope. You're making that lie again. Trump did not win. In a in the video, Owen Anchor says Trump won in a return. Basically, Ken Lane said Trump would win a number of swing states if born for voter fraud and then equate counting on scanning mail in ballots of an attempt to steal the election despite this information being incorrect. This video doesn't cross the line on YouTube. YouTube's current policies regarding misinformation and election pertaining content aiming to mislead voters about the time, place, means, or eligibility requirements for voting false claims that could materially discourage voting, according to the company's source, spoke sourcing. He took down several live streams related to the election between yesterday and today, violating its fed policies, according to the company. Although Lumen reporter Mark Bergen has tried to instances where misleading conduct has managed to appear on sites via live streams. Ridiculous narrative that Owen is complicit. 
Biden could possibly win Pennsylvania and calling Arizona, Wisconsin, and Michigan for Biden? Democrats have teamed up with the media to tell us all the narratives. The only reason you're saying that is because you're you want to go on Trump's side when you all know that he lies. You all know an American one you said he lies, and you went out along with it. Just sound disgraceful and disappointing this organization is. And do what you're told, and don't go to work, and don't educate your children. Just wait for the government to provide a stimulus package. The problem is, they didn't execute their plan quickly enough, and now they're stuck. They didn't pump enough illegal ballots in to win, so they have to figure out how to continue to drag it out to add more. Their problem is that their low-level cronies are getting nervous and starting to talk and releasing videos on social media. That's how every criminal enterprise meets its downfall. If not executed seamlessly, the low-hanging fruit talks. What? It's unraveling. And we're seeing corruption schemes exposed like we've never seen... Now you're starting to sound like Donald Trump. See? You're... You only do this to please him. You're not really being an actual journalist. ...before in the history of our country. A slight delay was an advantage to Democrats. This lengthy delay is no good for Democrats. The tide has turned back towards Trump. Not only is the truth resurfacing about the ballot, so are a lot of other facts they never wanted to reveal. Hang in there, folks. Donald Trump won on Tuesday. He's still winning, and his team is going to... No, he's not. He didn't win on Tuesday. Votes are still being counted. He falsely claimed that he won. But he didn't. He didn't win. Gonna bring this home. Democrats are left trying to rig the election without... That would be the Republicans, not the Democrats. Get it right, Christina, Bob. Looking like they're rigging it. But now they're caught in the spotlight of the entire nation. Democrats took too long. They're done. The reason we don't have a result too... The Democrats did not take too long. The votes need to be counted. The American people have the right to vote. I, the American person, had the right to vote this year. I want my vote counted, and so does everyone else. And if you cannot respect that, Christina, then, you know, you really should go somewhere else where, where nobody can, like, listen to you speak gibberish. And please, learn your laws, for goddamn sakes. are looking for a way to say he didn't. Contact the Trump campaign and show your support for their fight. Show the world the rally is for small. Show the world nothing. A panel appears below the on video stating that all that Results may not be final if you link to Google's main search page that shows updated election coverage, all search results, and videos about this election, and including this video, video surface an information panel noting that election results may not be final and we are continuing to raise up authoritative content in search results and recommendations to still search and add. YouTube also has a policy that says creators or organizations cannot use thumbnails, descriptions, or text to trick users into believing the content is something it is not, but declined to tell The Verge why the video is allowed to ring up if Trump, in fact, hadn't won the election at the time the video was posted. 
instead YouTube has removed ads from this specific OAN video. The company does not allow to run on does not allow ads to run on videos undermining the election confidence through the demonstrably false information. Since the election has not been called at this time, this video is in violation of YouTube's advertising policies. YouTube has routinely in the past kept borderline content videos that YouTube doesn't promote but won't take down as they don't violate any policies on this platform but remove the ability for creators and organizations to monetize said content. While YouTube is known for confusing for its confusing policies, the handling of the election misinformation looks even worse against the backdrop of Twitter and Facebook's more aggressive actions. YouTube claims that it's doing its part through information boxes that relate back to the search results, which also relies on authoritative voices like Reuters and the Associated Press. It just won't remove this one specific video, OAN video, claiming that Trump won the election. The same goes for CNBC. Which totally says the same thing, possibly similar. And Google owned YouTube refused to take down a video that falsely claims Trump won the presidential election and Democrats committed voter fraud. The company would not provide a response as to why the video, the video doesn't violate YouTube policies. It added a warning label. And removed ads claiming we do not allow ads to run on content that undermines confidence in the election system, demonstrating the false information. And you know what? Despite YouTube's uh, mishandling of content like this from OAN. It does reassure that that OAN likes to please Trump way too much and doesn't give the actual votes. Pull, or pull out the actual uh, tally of the votes that are being counted as time goes on. We are in a coronavirus pandemic, and if these votes are not counted correctly, we cannot know for sure if, if it's a fair election at all. That's why it, 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 it exists. Before I go, let me read you this, just so that you can get a clear sense of why the votes have to be counted. The HABA, also known as the Help America Vote Act, was passed by the U.S. Congress in 2002 to make sweeping reforms to the nation's voting process. HAVA addresses improvements in voting systems and border access that were identified following the 2000 election. The HAVA the H -A -A mandates that EAC tests and certified voting equipment maintain the National Voter Registration Form and administer a National Clearinghouse on elections that include shared practices, information for voters, and other resources to improve elections. Section 108, 1, 803 
of the HABA transferred the functions of the FEC's National Clearinghouse on Election Administration to an Election Assistance Commission, EAC, the HABA describes the clearinghouse role of EAC. And that's basically what the Help America Vote Act is. And if you think you're gonna try and uh, convince, convince people or confuse them by saying that Donald Trump won, you haven't even looked at anything in your life that that is part of the Constitution for a reason. You're trying to take away the American people's voice, and we, the American people, O.N., are not going to let you do that. Or in this case, Christina Bob from O.N. We are not going to let you do that by spreading false misinformation when it hasn't happened yet. And I do believe Biden will take the me why the White House either way. So I'm all good. You can keep spreading your false lies all you want. But just know this. Just know this right now. You got a lot of people talking about this. A lot of people who are not even fans of the win. Like this guy who says this lady is actually insane. Insane, you accept you can stop counting as soon as the polls close? I don't think it's even possible to count all the votes at that. You're dumb and Trump lost. Deal with it. Exactly. Michael Bergen knows what's up, and so does Mother May I, who says fake news, and another Trump supporter, dumb lackey, says, look, you, Christina, Trump won, no, he hasn't, and he never did, 